like this song? Yeah, no, I, I like it. out there, you're not gonna find anything. The enemy is to the east. Yeah. What's wrong with the truck? Fuck, this doesn't look good, sir. What does that mean? Fucking radiator hose is busted. Oh, fuck. Nils, did you check this when you uh, signed out the paperwork? Uh, Roger, Sergeant. They said everything was good to go. And you inspected the truck? Uh, yeah, sort of. But what do you mean, sort of? Well, sir, uh, I looked at it from the outside. Damn it, Mills, you didn't look under the hood? Uh, if I did, I really wouldn't be able to identify the radiator hose. Well, Sergeant, how much longer on the truck repairs? Repairs, sir? Yeah, we can't stay on this road for very long. Well, I'm not a fucking mechanic, and even if I was, we don't have the proper parts to fix this thing. Mills, call on a grid. Hey, what the fuck are you doing? Just... Hey, your pictures aren't happening out right now. Well, Avery, go ahead and take your photos. Hey, this isn't time to play celebrity, sir. Now... I have direct orders from the top saying that Avery over here has full disclosure of our mission. These are top orders, Sergeant. Don't make this more than it is. All right, sir. All right, well, paparazzi, if he's going to let us, we need to get out of our current situation right now. Mills, call on our grid. This is FO team to outpost. Do you copy? FO team to outpost. Do you copy? Are well, you getting anything through the transmitter? Negative, sir. Only hear a low hum. We must be far enough behind enemy lines that they've already jammed our radios. Mills, you're probably dehydrated. Drink some water. Sergeant, we've had 32 other missions and I've never had a problem as a radio operator. All right, Mills. Now, we need to get off this road and now, if any of the enemy locals come by, they're going to alert the real enemy of our presence. Well, if you want to play soldier, you help us take this truck off the road. Roger, Sergeant. All right, let's move this thing, squad. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the count of three. One, two, three. Uh. Right, let's try one more time. One, two, three.
There's nothing like an early morning in enemy territory. Now, let's go ahead and figure out what the hell we're gonna do here. All right. Now, this is the outpost from which we left this morning. We traveled about six miles or so to the enemy line. Then about another six miles or so, I would say we broke down about right there. Now, we were supposed to get a little bit further, make it down to where we can call in an airstrike for where the enemy is staging their field trucks. We were going to make it to this point here and call in that airstrike and everything goes boom. It looks like my first mission is gonna have to be a failed one. We're about this point, sir. It's about six miles from where we are. Can we make it there? I'll carry private paparazzi if I have to. We don't have the water or rations for that. We were only prepped for 36 hours with vehicular and and uh, radio support. Hey, Mills, try the radio again. FO team, the outpost, do you copy? Still the low hum. Yep, patch me through. This is FO leader to outpost, do you copy? Yep, there's that low hum. It's a signal I heard in training exercises. We're definitely having our radios jammed. We don't have very many options here, sir. No, we don't. Now, taking that road without any cover is a death wish. Well, hold on. Now, this river here, this goes exactly where we need to go. If we just followed that, it would take us right back to the green. So that's your plan, sir? To go down river? Yeah. <laughs> sir, that's right in the enemy's concentrated area. Well, we wait until nightfall. We build a raft, and we slip right past them. They won't even know we're there. Listen, sir, I know you haven't done this very many times, but the enemy isn't just not gonna notice. Well, this is going through the enemy perimeter. It, there's minimal chance of contact, plus these roads are used for logistical support. Or we could go with your plan, Sergeant. All right, Mills. Shoot an azimuth, hold your pace count, you get us there, all right? Roger, Sergeant. Hey, Private Paparazzi. Since you have a weapon, stay close to us, all right? Look, with your shotgun, you can end someone's life. With, you know, with my camera, I can make them live forever. Your instructions told you that? Yeah, I got the better weapon. Well, I doubt they've ever been stuck behind enemy lines. Come on, let's go. Take a break. Drink some water. I agree. I agree. Oh. Drink some water, privates. Anybody need a snack? Yeah. You guys are good? Hey, They hurt, but I'm good. Good Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. Good paparazzi? Yeah, just tell me when you want your picture. Hey, your feet, sir. What's that? Hey, your feet. My feet are great? Yeah. I don't know about yours. How are yours? You're all right. Good to hear. I wouldn't be too worried about me. I was a uh, endurance runner back in college. Okay, sir. 
I did track once. Yeah? Once or twice, yeah. Didn't stick with it? Uh, you like that artsy stuff too much, huh? <laughs> All right, you guys ready to go? Yeah. No, let's get side. us out of here. Garage side. Sergeant, I'm thinking that we go straight through this valley. What do you think? Uh, not a very good idea, sir. That was the quickest way. It's one direct route. Yeah, but I bet you there's snipers all over this place. Like a bear and up there. That's where I'd be. What? Take out those binoculars. Take a look around. See what you see. See anything? Yeah, right there, sir. Looks like uh, one of our uniform guys. Seems like he's down. Like I said, snipers all over these hills. Mills, we got an anomaly up there behind that bush. Why don't you go check it out? No, fuck that, Mills. Stay right there. That is an order, Mills. Go and check it out. Roger, sir. But where the hell else are we supposed to go? We don't have food, we don't have rations for anything else. Mario, we, we just stick to the fucking tree line. Well, why don't we take a diagonal through the valley? I mean, shit, that could have been just a leftover mine from ages ago. A diagonal? Sir, I know yeah. you're fucking new to this, but no, that's not mm -hmm. gonna work. No, listen, listen, I've been through training, I know what I'm supposed to do. The only way we're gonna get there is to go through this valley. Well, sir, this valley was taken from us about two months ago. We're just still playing beer pong. What is that supposed to mean? Look, we can't Now listen to me, Sergeant. I'm the one giving orders here, all right? All right, sir, we'll check it out. That's gonna fucking get us killed. That's gonna get us fucking home. So what do you wanna do? You wanna die, or you wanna go home? I wanna go home. Cool. You can guarantee me of that? Hell yeah, sir. 
If we stick to this fucking tree line. I'll give it to you this time, Sergeant. But don't you ever talk to me back again like that, all right? Roger, sir. All right. You're taking point. Mills, are you all right? Roger, sir. Avery? You're taking point. I guess. Get out of here. Mills, we're not supposed to be this close to the action. What are you doing? Just the way the compass says to go. Give me that thing. Follow me. Let's go. Yes, sir, I can hear the river. Necessarily the enemy. We can tell where the enemy's at. I guess we'll just detain him. All right, all right. Now, he's unarmed. We're detaining him. What should we do next? I guess we could take him back up to the tree line and figure out what to do from there. All right, all right, that's a good idea. Well done, Sergeant. Thank you. Let's take him to a more secure location. All right. Come on, you bastard.
Honestly, sir, killing the detainee is probably the best course of action. That is a war crime that I'm not comfortable with. Who cares? It's one filthy native. He's probably thinking about killing us right now. How the hell do you know that he's thinking about killing us? And besides, Private Avery has full disclosure of our mission. What are you, a snitch now? What? Hey, leave him alone. Shut the hell up. Nothing happens to this detainee until the, the LT says. The plan is that we wait until nightfall, we build a raft, and then we get the hell out of here. And what we'll do is until nightfall, we'll take turns guarding this guy, and then we'll get out. Sounds good to me. All right. Shit, I'll take the first watch. You sure you can handle that? It'll be fine. All right. Well, Sylvia, Avery, and I will go get logs and get that raft started so we can get the hell out of here. All right. You're on point, Silva. Let's go. Watch them close, Mills. Almost there, Avery. Keep it up. Yes, sir. What do you think we should do with that native? I mean, what do you honestly think we should do? Honestly? I really, really hope that we can just cut them loose and let them go when we get out of here. As long as we're on our way out, I can do that. Keep at it, Sergeant. We'll come down eventually. I think we would have won the war by the time this branch comes down. Fuck you, Avery. Yo, why won't you fucking look at me? Are you fucking scared? What the fuck is your problem? I bet you know where the enemy is right now, don't you? They're probably just sitting here waiting to kill my brothers. I'm not dealing with this bullshit. You know, if the continents hadn't split, would we still rage war the way we do? I think if that were the case, we'd already be extinct. Yeah, probably. You know, sometimes you gotta put, put fear into your enemy in order to gain respect to your nation. Yeah, or you can just adopt communism, then the government controls its people and their actions. <laughs> you don't believe that, sir. Do you? Well, just because I don't believe it doesn't mean that other people don't feel the same way. When this war is over, I'm gonna have a grip of kids. And I'm gonna line them up, I'm gonna tell them stories about this war. And if they don't shit themselves, I'm gonna beat the shit out of them. <laughs> now what the hell, Sergeant? <laughs> Damn. You're more fucked up than the communists. War as hell. Little filthy ass native. I know you want to kill all my fucking brothers. Probably want to go home to your fucking wife, your ugly ass wife. Probably want to fuck some ghosts or some shit. Whatever the fuck you natives do. What do you even do? Like, what the fuck? Are you are you even worth anything? Why am I here guarding you? I should just fucking kill you right now. I got something for you. Go ahead, get out of here. 
I'm fucking done with you. Get your ass out of here. Do you not fucking hear me? Get your punk ass out of here. Hey, Avery. Hey. I see you take a lot of pictures, but I don't see you write anything down like in a journal or anything. Is that what you're trained to do? Yeah, you know, that's what we're that's what we're trained to do back there, but my officer in charge down there just thinks they're worthless. So he just treats them like shit. So how do you write your, your papers or whatever? Well, other people they like to they add a bunch of lies and just add shit. But that's why I take so many pictures out here is that when I get back I sit down, look through all of them, and I write from the pictures and the feelings that, you know, I remember when I was taking them. Hmm. Write from the experience and find a theme. Uh, so what theme did you find for this mission? Well, since I took this opportunity to go behind enemy lines, and, you know, we're kind of stranded out here, I'm feeling the will to survive. That's funny. Us, stuck out here, but with the will to survive. Yeah, that's rich. <laughs> yeah, but you know, mostly why I came into, you know, combat journalism is, back home, you know, people don't really care. We're dying. Boys are dying out here every day. People back home don't, frankly, they don't just give a shit. Yeah. I want to change that. Yeah. With these stories, I'll change that. Yeah, the people back home. They know what's going on here. They just choose not to care. Yeah. You got any child left? Nope. Nothing left. Yeah, it's all there for you. Here you go. That like a real soldier. Thanks, Saj. Jap cheese. Go, fucking dumbass. Get your ass up. Go. Come on. Get your ass up. I won't even fucking look. Look, I'm not even looking. Get your ass up and run.
Paparazzi. Wake up. What's up? You hungry? Yeah. Follow me. This guy's gotta be the primary detail. Yeah? Huh? There's only one way we're gonna eat. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't hey, know. you can wait another night without food, or we can eat right now. You're right. Let's do this. Looks like we get to eat. Yeah. Oh, next time, you hit him in the liver. We go into shock, it'll be easier for you. Wake up, soldiers. Come on. Come on, rise and shine, troops. Now, why was nobody standing guard? Come on, Sergeant Private, we're behind enemy lines, not on vacation. Let's get some more logs so we can go ahead and finish this raft and get the hell out of here by tonight, all right? Yes, sir. Damn. Those will want you to have this. Okay. Can I trust you? You got my back, right? Yeah, I won't let you down. All right, let's get out there and do this. All right. This is looking good, gentlemen.
definitely put another line down the center. Find some more logs. Avery, yeah. go that way. You got Mill's weapon, so you should be able to handle yourself, right? Roger. I'll uh, I'll hold down the raft. Uh, maybe I'll tie a line down the middle. What are you doing, Avery? Just give it a few minutes. <sighs> the water from the river will run through the sand. It'll be good to drink after that. That's not a good idea. I mean, we don't know where this river's origin is. We don't know what the local illnesses are. <sighs> Let's get to drink. How'd you learn to do that? My grandpa, when I was little, you know, we used to go camping a lot. You're close with your family then, huh? Yeah, you could say so. You know, a little bit. I mean, my parents divorced when I was young, so I constantly grew up in a different household. It was just easier, you know, going in the military, living on my own. Sometimes it's best to go off and do your own thing. What about you, Lieutenant? I used to be. Until I got divorced. See, we were in college, 
We had a son. My family still loves her, but she cheated on me. Sorry to hear that. That's rough. That's all right. My family still tried to tell me to make it work, but I knew that if she did it once, she would do it again, right? Yeah. But it's okay. I'm going to focus on my military career. I'm going to retire as a colonel. I'm going to buy a nice house, a nice boat. Oh, yeah. Maybe someday my son will even love me again. You know, Lieutenant, your son's going to grow up. He's going to mature. You'll learn to understand that, you know, that was the best thing you know, for you to do. It's for the best. What about you? You got a girlfriend back, back home, Avery? Yeah, I got a girlfriend, but she's not quite back home right now. Well, where is she then? I met her back in an operating base, and well, she's a cook there. <laughs> oh, man. You journalists really do know how to have a fun time during wartime. Oh, yeah. Well, don't even worry about it. I'm not going to tell anybody under command that you're bumping uglies with the mess all chick. <laughs> well, thank you. No problem. Well, let's get that raft built so we can get you back to that mess hall, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go. You guys gotta come check this out. What's up? What? Avery and I have been doing all the work around here, so this better be worth it. Okay, well, well, sir, this is time for you to earn your reward for being behind enemy lines. Come on, follow me. Good, fine, Sergeant. We're definitely gonna need to, need to sneak by those guys under cover of night. Sir, check it out. That's an enemy general. You think so? I'm positive. I remember in the mission briefing seeing a guy wearing that hat in one of the photos. Definitely means we're going to have to pass by these guys under cover of night, regardless. All right, let's go. Take me to him.
So yeah, just go ahead and alert the enemy while we're uh, waiting to get our way home. Yeah, then we'd actually have something to do. What is that supposed to mean? I've just been sitting here this whole time, this whole fucking deployment. I've just been sitting here, off in the distance, calling in airstrikes. I'm sick of it. What do you expect us to do? Well, we got a general over there right now. We could take him out and actually impact this war. In the middle of enemy territory? Now, why do you think that's a good idea? Well, sir, we have this perfect opportunity right now. He's just sitting there, waiting for us. You know what? It wouldn't matter if we took out their general. If you're one of our generals, you would be replaced in a week, and the fighting would continue. Am I wrong? The best thing we can do is survive, so that we can go back, train for another mission, and then come back here and impact the war. Sir, why'd you even join in the first place? Now, I don't see why we need to bring our personal life decisions into this conversation. Well, I joined to make a purpose in my life, to make a difference in this world. And right now, we have that perfect opportunity. Listen, we're sticking to the plan that I came up with. We're gonna build this trap, we're gonna escape by night, and we're going to get home. I don't wanna hear you say anything else about it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Fucking bullshit. Who the fuck does he think he is? He's been through 32 fucking missions. And he thinks he can just walk in here and tell me what the fuck to do? Hey, look, Silva. Hey, shut the fuck up. No, no, hold on. That general, when we came out on a boat, you didn't mention that. He came on a boat. We were trying to build this rickety ass raft. We're not gonna float down any river. We get that boat, we kill that general. We get your fame and we're able to get out of here. I thought it was big enough for all of us, huh? Had oars too. Fucking genius, kid. You're fucking genius. Sir, sir. You got a plan. I don't know. Didn't seem like the last one was too smart, so. Okay, well, just hear me out. This is how we're gonna get home. I mean, I like it, but it's gonna get us home. All right, let's hear it. All right. So, General, I came out on a boat. Big enough for all of us and all of the gear. So, we just go over there and take his boat from him. No, 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 perfect, hear me out. I shimmy across, I lay down the distraction, draw him out, you guys, your neighbor, hit him from the back. Boom, in the tent, take whoever's left. Whatever guys I don't pick off, I take care of. Easy peasy. You know, I don't think that anybody is ever ready to fight no more. I think we do it instinctively in order to survive.
set up, when I start firing, that's your cue. Alright. Looks like it.
We gotta go, guys. With all that racket, yeah, enemy's yeah. bound to be approaching again. I think we're on the wrong river. Wrong river? We went further south into enemy territory. Hey. Shit! Silver's Phil, red. Fuck. What did you do that for? Y'all know that shit's worthless anyway. Sir. Where are we going? I don't know. <laughs> 